Okay, so this is just a demonstration of the procedural animation of a ball. So right now I just have keyframes set on the translate attributes of this control, which are driving the translate of the ball. And I'll start off with this guy having zero rotations. And then when I hit play, you can see that the ball's rotations are generated so that it rolls properly. even when it makes sharp corners like that. So the way that this is happening is using an expression. So I'm going to open the expression editor and we can take a look. And this expression updates every frame. So we'll start on frame one and we'll go over to frame a few frames like that. And so what happens is we get the current position of the ball at the beginning of the frame, so right here, and we get the old position of the ball, which is uh, stored here on this locator. If I can select it here in the outliner, so it's right there. I don't know why it doesn't graphically update the locator every time, it's something that's kind of screwy. Then we subtract the current position, I'm sorry, the old position from the current position to get a vector. And I'm here in the expression and I put in a placeholder for the ground plane normal vector. Right now I'm just using the y-axis as the normal vector, but eventually I'd like to test it out using a uneven NURB surface. Then we take the cross product of those two vectors in order to get the vector axis that the ball is actually rotating on over that one frame. And then in order to get the distance that was traveled, um, during that one frame, we take the magnitude of that vector. Well, not the cross product vector, but the original vector uh, between the ball and the locator. So now we have all that information. So now what we do is we use this rot command to rotate the, no the world space, I'm sorry, the normal vector so straight up around the rotational vector, in this case the object's x-axis, and the distance that we are rotating it is the actual distance covered over that frame times negative one. So now what we have, so the result of this rot command is new vn, so it's the new position of the normal vector. So pointing like this instead of straight up. And then what we do is we plug the original normal vector into an angle between node. And then we also plug in the new normal vector into that same node, which can be seen right here in the node editor. We have the outputs from this angle going, from the expression going into the angle node. And that angle between node gives us the Euler rotations that this original vector would need to go through in order to land on the new vector. So I take those Euler rotations out of the angle between node and I apply them in world space to the ball at the end of the frame. And then the last thing we need to do is update the position of the locator so that it is ready when the next um, frame updates to be used here at the beginning of it to get us a, get a new vector along the path. So I'll play this one more time. So there is still a lot of stuff that can be done with this setup. Um, right now it is kind of disjointed I'll turn on DAG objects as well because we have the expression here and the angle and then we have two transform nodes and actually another transform node because we need the shape of the sphere and I don't have it set up to use any radius yet I'd like to take this whole setup and kind of put it into probably one locator that would just process all of this information and then plug it onto the actual geometry And of course, I'd want to 
test it out using an uneven surface to see if the ball can roll properly um, on an uneven plane. But this is a pretty good start to a procedurally rolling ball.